What's up guys, Farls here with a brand new title update in Madden 18. That's right, a patch went live on 11-20. Five big changes, a bunch of changes, but five really big ones for me. I'm going to tell you all about them and we'll go very quick. First up, kick blocks can no longer occur on perfect kicks, and I'll tell you what a perfect kick is coming up. Blockers being hurdled too frequently by defenders. We've all suffered a quarterback sack after that. That's fixed. Move pump fake, so they change some controls around. I'll tell you why that's not a, as big of a deal as you'd think. Adjusted logic around quarterback contained defensive assignment. And then that's it for up here, but there's a hidden one down at the bottom, and we'll get to it in a second. Now, they adjusted... They made this thing called perfect kicks where your kick power is at 100% and you get your accuracy. You get an icon flash and your kick can't be blocked. I like this because it's a bummer to get your kick blocked and feel like you had nothing you could do. But now you at least have something you can do to not get your kick blocked. And if you don't get a perfect kick, you know, you still might not get your kick blocked. But at least you know what you got to do to not get it blocked. And I like that competitive element to the game. Remove pump fake functionality. So... Nobody pump fakes, I would say, but you accidentally pump fake a lot. So you're not going to be looking to pump fake, which is now on the left stick, clicking in instead of flicking the right stick. What was important about this is that throw the ball away is to click the right stick, and you'd accidentally pump fake while you're rolling out. And that can't happen because you really need to throw the ball away a lot in competitive play, and you don't want to pump fake. So that that's more the big change to me is that you will be able to throw the ball away even easier versus having to find where pump fake is. If they had moved, throw the ball away to the left stick, very dangerous because people use that a lot and that could have thrown people off, but not so much worried about pump fake. Adjusted logic around quarterback contains. This is huge. Tuning the quarterback contains so that wider slot corners will not become contained players. So that means that you're going to have to now blitz that slot corner. You're not going to be able to use those where potentially... Those guys are containing, but they're still rushing and blitzing in and kind of escaping. Plus, if you still can line them up in certain ways, pass blocking will better handle switching quarterback contained defenders. So this could change a lot of the blitzing meta and a lot of where guys line up. So keep an eye out for that. Along with that is cut block fixes to reduce guys getting hurdled. So you, you make the right read. Your halfback steps up to pick up the pressure. You think you're going to have time to get hurdled and you get sacked. Now, players who were making the right, like, pre-snap adjustments and using the right ID or the right slide or the right protection, they're going to now be rewarded. Those players are going to get a lot better, have a lot more time in the pocket. Hopefully you've, you're one of them. Um, that's big. Now, all this other stuff is great. It's all one-off kind of smaller things. Good job. One thing is that additional thresholds of quarterback accuracy on competitive game style. I got some thoughts about this one. Number one, short, medium, and deep will now have uh, e or each have separate thresholds. Short pass having the lowest threshold to achieve accurate pass. What does that mean? Does that mean that previously short, medium, and deep were together, all on one rating? There was a diff or they were just different thresholds? Short pass, I thought previously, my um, understanding, but I'm not sure, was that 90 short throw, if your feet were set, you were in the pocket, it was clean, if you threw a drag, you would complete that if you had 90 plus short. That's always kind of what I've gone off. Is it lower now? Is it just not just separate, now it's own thing? Is it 85? Is it 80? Is it those? Got to start testing these quarterbacks, start throwing drags, see if we get inaccurate passes. Is that, you know, how does this factor in? Remember, the ranges, I think, are 0 to 10, 10 to 20, or 10 to 40. I think it's 0 to 10, 10 to 40, and then over 40 are is what I have for yards from an old blog that I previously read. So these are some very good questions we need to start asking and thinking about um, as we throw passes with the quarterback. That's pretty much it for the patch. I do want to really quickly go over a couple things in Ultimate Team. Three guys. Three guys. So, first up, Ronnie Lott. Tons of free safeties. Tons of zone cover guys at free safety. You could play him at strong safety if you totally wanted to. But if you're a guy that just likes to play a strong safety there, Ronnie Lott's kind of now the bread and butter. There wasn't really one guy. And so, with 91 zone, 92 speed, and some pop in his bat, Ronnie Lott becomes that strong safety that we haven't had in uh, Madden 18. Barry Sanders, to me, easily becomes the best halfback, and he's like two steps above everybody else. He has the spin move and the juke move, which are the two best run moves. His speed and agility make him like so much better than the other guys in the area. He's almost two steps better, and then even the, the faster guy, he, he's great. That's all. That's really it. I've already seen some great highlight runs from him online, from other folks, so that Barry is pretty much the best back in the game, and he, he seems like he's going to be there for a bit. And then Jalen Ramsey is a corner that I always love no matter what. He gets 91 speed, 
I liked him at the start of the year because he was balanced, 90 man, 90 zone. But now he doesn't get 91 zone, so he has 84 hit power, 91 speed, and then 90 90. That would be any year like the best. That'd be so good at corner. But now people say, well, I want to see 91 zone. It's different than 90. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Who knows? So does Jalen Ramsey make your squad knowing that maybe he's not a 91 zone guy, but he's got almost everything else except for play rec, but he's pretty pricey. So those are factors when you got to consider your ultimate team. Let me know in the comments if you're thinking about that Ramsey, what the patch means for you. And until next time, guys, this is Farrell's reminding you to lock up. Hopefully this helps you. We'll talk soon.